So let's talk about what prevents us from being creative. Blocks that get in the way are our perceptions, our stereotypes about what things mean, our emotions, fear get in the way. They prevent us from, from taking actions. Our culture, your work culture, your social culture, your friends culture, whatever your history is, those cultures, those things get in the way of you being creative. I don't have time. Your belief system, like the, like the graphic in the corner. I don't have time. I can't be creative. I don't have time. Your environment. What's your environment like now? If you come to your desk, is there anything that helps you fidget? Do you have any, do you have any toys or anything on your desk that you can sit and play with? Now, some of you that haven't been to the seminar, if you create creativity around your desk, people aren't going to understand. Who cares? If it helps you be more productive and helps you get to the results you want, it shouldn't matter if you have toys on your desk or things that you can fidget with or pipe cleaners or a notepad or a 64 box of crayons. I don't know what's going to work best for you, but get yourself something. Maybe some of you, it's just taking a walk or reading a book or listening to a CD or whatever. But get yourself, surround yourself with an environment to shake that up. All right? There's two halves of the brain. We've heard this before. You have your left brain, which is more analytical and more linear. And you have your right brain, which is more creative and spontaneous. Some of you are thinking, okay, does he have either part? We have both. The key to creativity is focusing on being creative when you're being creative and not editing. So when you're in the creative process, when you're a power thinker, and we're all power thinkers. So everybody repeat that after me. I'm a power thinker. Come on, play along. If you feel uncomfortable, this is why you should do it. Say it again. I'm a power thinker. Some of you, that's a stretch for you still because you just don't want to maybe look foolish in front of someone else who's sitting there. And for those of you that feel that way, I have a special hat for you, okay? <laughs> but seriously, being a power thinker means being able to turn the creativity on like that. And I've learned strategies and techniques to do that, and those are the things that I'm going to share with you in this step too, is tools that you can use to turn that creativity on. But what you have to keep in mind is getting rid of these things first. You have to put your stereotypes out of the way. You have to be open-minded. You have to create emotions that are going to help you get to what you want. Watch the culture. Watch your BS. BS being your belief system and also the other word that it stands for. Watch that stuff because that will prevent you from being creative. And, of course, you want to watch your environment. Watch how, you, you know, maybe you need to go somewhere different to be creative. Maybe you need to shut your door, or wear a hat, or put some tape across your cubicle, or put a, put a light on and just say, don't bother me when I'm doing this, and, and give yourself some special time where you can go to be creative. That's going to help you. So being creative means setting up the environment and not editing. Don't be critical while you're being creative. Be a power thinker. Then, after you get your ideas, then edit. Now, I'm going to say get it, and if you understood that, say got it. Get it? Got it. All right. Get it? Got it. Good. And if I don't hear that strong enough, I've got to start all over like at 9 o'clock. Get it? Got it. All right, good. We're ready to move on.